together since 1982 the cap. The cap. <laughs> no i'm just playing y'all i keep interrupting him with stuff that i just need help with so he usually have my help when he putting stuff together but nah, now he gotta do it all by but yeah you guys we got some um nightstands so yes we got some nightstands we are trying to put them together so that I just am able to just, you know, have stuff by the bed. It was long overdue. And thankfully, our family got them for us. So, yeah. Long overdue. Long overdue. But Super long. definitely long. wanted, you know, now, especially with me being in recovery, making sure that I'm able to just have stuff on the side of the bed, you know, and stuff like that. So, so y'all, we got Bob the Builder here. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nothing funny, bro. <laughs> Yo, it's it almost done. It hurts when I laugh. Only thing about it is, it's two of these, and I'm not doing the other one. Hey, like this is okay, y'all. But honestly, this has been a three days. It's been like, bro, it's, it's like, been three days. You wanna know what's crazy? But... I was trying to record myself doing it on my phone. Yeah, facts. But when I was doing it yesterday, and I thought I was recording, the whole thing didn't record. So I put together half of the other dresser, thinking it was recording. And it did it. So I was like, you know what? Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. not even gonna get pissed off. I'm just gonna Sounds record like it excuses. tomorrow. Anyways, we got all this. Like I said, usually he'll have me to help him, but you know, you know how that goes. <sighs> well, I'm almost done. I'm on step ten out of twelve. So okay, so yeah, you are almost done. Actually. You feel me? Okay. Yeah. Period. So get on period. about here. Let me handle my space okay. out here. And when I'm done, I'll bring it to you. Okay, you well, me? you got about 10 minutes. 10? Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right, you guys. So you guys saw in the previous clips, we wanted to just show you guys just a little bit about how life has been post-surgery, post-op. I do want to say just a huge thank you to every single person that reached out, showed support, sent prayers, sent gifts, flowers, anything, like sent love. It means the world, you know, just in response to our last video. None of us could have expected my surgery to go how it did. And, you know, just like the support has been unreal. And I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Me and Tyron really, really, really appreciate it, you guys, because that support and, you know, that love and knowing that, you know, other people have reached out and, you know, shared their stories or, you know, just talked about it and stuff like that just knowing that other people are going through it it really does it keeps me going because of course now i'm healing physically from you know the incision and the surgery and stuff like that but i'm also having to heal a ton mentally and spiritually and you know emotionally so you know really just reading you guys stories reading you guys supportive messages it really does help me so much just with my healing process and my healing journey so we just wanted to come first and just thank you guys for the support 
on our last video and just in general. And then, like I said, I wanted to keep you guys in the loop because I noticed that even going into my surgery, I didn't see a lot of representation or a lot of, you know, just videos or content around the surgery specifically, the recovery and stuff like that. So I definitely wanted to kind of just like give you guys a raw view of basically kind of how I am. So today I am currently five days post-op and um, we wanted to, you know, really film a little bit beforehand what we thought we were going to be able to, you know, kind of just get more of the like hospital stay, more of like the first initial days. But you guys, we've been so heartbroken. We've just been healing and just kind of dealing with the news and stuff like that of having to get like a full hysterectomy done. It's just, it's been really hard so we weren't able to like film our hospital stay or anything like that you guys because it was so emotional so raw and we were just like dealing with everything because it was honestly just such a shock so yeah but now we are you know feeling a lot better friends and family have been coming to visit us and just sending so many nice things you guys and it's really been helping us so much we know that god is using us as you know a vessel to truly just spread awareness on this and spread awareness on women's health and general for those of you guys that do not know i don't know if we shared this in our previous video i think I, I think we did talk about it a little bit at the end but what i had was endometriosis so this is a condition that involves just like scar tissue buildup that can grow literally anywhere around like your uterus around your ovaries it can grow like anywhere in that space and it can also spread to other parts of your body and become really really dangerous so i'm so grateful that we were able to catch this when we did and that we were able to get all of it removed although we weren't able to save my uterus which is like i said the most heartbreaking part about it i mean honestly you guys i still thank god and i praise god because it could have been so much worse it could have been cancerous it could have been a situation where the endometriosis was like on my lungs or on like a vital organ although she did say when she went in there that the surgeon said that it was like literally everywhere but it wasn't on parts that could really just like affect me chronically or fatally so i'm grateful for that and you know we're just taking everything as it comes we're just taking it day by day and we want to continue to just allow you guys to be a part of the process and stuff like that so that's why we wanted to just capture a little bit of this show you guys how the first week of post-op is going in terms of my pain level i will be completely honest with you guys pain level has been really tolerable really manageable like i haven't been in you know super extreme pain i'm blessed to say that i've been able to walk around pretty good especially now like day five i've been able to walk around a, a really good amount i'm even able to now like kind of get up by myself go to the bathroom by myself i took a shower today so you know every single day i really do feel like i am you know progressing and just getting better and better and better they did prescribe me with I'm gonna have to look at the prescription I'll put it on the screen um, I don't exactly know what it is but it's oxy something I think it's oxycodone they prescribed me with those for pain and honestly you guys I haven't even been like needing to take those I've really just been taking like an ibuprofen and then like a Tylenol and I've been good in terms of like sleeping through the night I've been sleeping through the night since I've been at home of course in the hospital they would not let you get any rest like they literally come in every two to three hours of course to check your like vitals and your signs and stuff like that but I'm like dang like you can't get no sleep in the hospital but since i've been home the past few days i have been getting a full night's rest i have been you know just really sleeping well taking naps throughout the day if i need to but you know other than that i've been pretty mobile making sure that i'm walking you know just to make sure that i'm still being active and stuff and you know just getting back acclimated to life you know it's definitely been a journey and you know i definitely just wanted to come here and just thank you guys for all the love, all the support, I mean, it means absolutely everything to me, to us. And like we said, you know, in honor of Women's History Month, I think it's super important to touch on these topics and just to be raw and open and as vulnerable as we can with you guys, especially with what I'm going through with what has actually happened to me. I think it's so like just important and necessary for all the women out there to just know that like this stuff is serious. Don't let anyone like undermine or downplay the pain that you're having on a monthly basis if you know that it's chronic and sometimes you may not know like for me I didn't even know that my pain was like chronic like I thought that it was normal to be stuck in bed for days like the first couple of days of your period like throwing up where you can't even walk like I thought that was normal 
I thought that was normal, but ladies out there, I'm gonna tell you right now that that is not normal. And like endometriosis, fibroids, all of it is all too common. And I really think it's just important that we raise our awareness and we raise our like education on these conditions because it can be really serious. And I, I really just, I know that God is using me to just help so many women out there. So that is literally my goal now and just moving forward is just to shed light and awareness because literally I will not let what happened to me go in vain, you guys. It hurts, but I promise you guys, I'm gonna use this pain to fuel me and I'm already like really just getting so passionate about what we're about to do for the lives of so many other people in hopes to prevent this from happening to the next person. As a 24 year old woman, I would never like wish this on my worst enemy, you guys. Hopefully through the work that we do in these next coming months, weeks, you know, years, whatever the case may be, that we can help to prevent this from happening to the next person or just to educate, you know, others on just the severity of what it could come down to. So yeah, you guys, I just wanted to give you guys a little update while Tyron is still putting together that nightstand situation for today we're probably just about to call it a night after this i'm about to read me a good little book right now i'm reading atomic habits and this is a banger you guys i'm probably just gonna read for a little bit we're gonna eat dinner and you know we're gonna call it a night but yeah definitely i just wanted to give you guys an update and we will continue to update you guys probably over the next couple of days and just show you guys kind of what we do over the next couple of days so that you guys are in the loop informed and hopefully this definitely helps someone who is about to go and get this surgery or a similar surgery or in recovery right now girl we are in this together, okay? Okay, y'all. Look who's finally finished. Two minutes later, like you said. You know. Yeah, it actually was really quick. It was quick. Thank you, babe. You're done. You know? are done. Cool little nightstand right there. Yeah, you that's know, put your little stuff on, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Got a little drawer. You feel okay, me? Joy. You feel me? You're like seamless, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so, period. You know, Not I take cash. Stuff. I take cash, cash app, PayPal, uh -uh. Venmo, you know, mm -mm. check, any, any of that. No, know? Oh, I no. don't think so. Thanks, babe. You're welcome. I'm outside, you guys. Woo, yeah, we outside with it. Yes, yeah, sir. Driving around, getting a little fresh air. You feeling good? Yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. It definitely feels good to just be out. Right. For first the first time. time since first I left day the out hospital. in a week. Yep. No. So going to get some ice cream or what? What a milkshake? It yeah. Says you, she was craving a milkshake, so this is our opportunity to get outside and you know ride with me to go get our milkshake. Yeah. already been drinking it <laughs> you already been tasting oh yeah they're mine now no it ain't mm. give me this see how she do mm. now it's give me this where else you want to ride out to thanks babe um and you a little fresh air go to the store the store the store it is I guess we're going to the store now. You know, see how good she walking now? Look how good she walking. She can basically run. Go ahead and run down the hall. Go ahead. Oh, <laughs> God. Take off running. Do a little dance real quick. Get a little jig. Hey, hey. <laughs> Let me stop playing, man. You looking good, boy. You looking good. You walking about normal. Got your little pajama set on. I know, right? That's how I went outside. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I guess post-surgery means that I put everything together now. We just keep getting packages of things that I got to put together. You guys can see down here, I got 
another box right there, which is like our stuff for our patio. Just came, gotta put that together. Stuff for the, not the patio, the balcony. Like chairs, a little table. Gotta put that together. I'm still putting together the other nightstand. I told y'all yesterday, I was not putting together both of them. I don't even know why it was so complex to put, put them together, but I wasn't gonna put together both of them in one night. It just wasn't gonna happen. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do the, the nightstand in the patio right now. So gotta do it all by myself. So, you know, that's what I'm tasked, tasked of doing right now. And yeah, you know, just gonna be chilling. Being Bob the Builder for a little bit. Life of uh, a caregiver, you know what I'm saying? So gonna go ahead and do that. Everybody, we're at home now. Kay's in the room, just chilling. I'm gonna be out here. I guess I'll just listen to some music, put together this stuff, and check back in with y'all in a little. Your boy got the full body do rag out. Drop the roof and let the smoke clear. I got diamonds doing till she slides in both ears Dice rolling on the Las Vegas strip tonight Slip that on and we might miss the fight Fuck or not, I keep the koala in my shorty bag You know she wanna mind when she tattoo that ass I'm a lover boy, she not a toy Keep it coming, you a rider It's that roll myself a day and count my figure shit It's that stepping out, I feel like I'm that nigga shit I drop 30 on this room, we ain't gon' sleep for shit if I catch you knocking off, then it's gon' be some shit Well, you can do what you wanna Live how you wanna Spit what you wanna Be who you wanna be We all stutter Till I D.I.E. You can do what you wanna Dinner tonight, a little spaghetti. How is it? It's good, babe. Y'all, get you a man that can cook, cause you <laughs> never know. Been having to cook. Need it. Been having to cook for the past week. Yeah. Every day. So he's been doing a great job. Breakfast, lunch, breakfast, and dinner. lunch, and dinner. Yeah, personal chef, boy. Right? <laughs> get used to this. Ooh, okay. Well, we're not gonna take it that far. All right, you guys. It is officially day seven. So I am seven days post-op. As y'all can see, I'm out and about again. I've been really just enjoying kind of like riding and you know just getting fresh air and stuff like that after being just in the hospital in the house you know it's definitely been good for me to just get out and get some fresh air right now we're just running like some little errands we're going to get gas to the grocery store so yeah i'm just riding around being the passenger seat princess as i am as y'all can see i finally you know changed into some real clothes i actually still have pajama pants on but we're not gonna talk about that you know i have some real clothes on for the first time since i got my surgery and i wanted to give you guys an update on basically like how sleeping has been because that really started to frustrate me at first i thought that i could only sleep on my back and i really thought that because i tried to sleep on my side like in the hospital and then like afterwards and it was so 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 uncomfortable so i looked it up and i was like oh dang like i think you're only supposed to be sleeping on your back for the first like six to eight weeks or like through the healing process apparently that's not true and i could have been sleeping on my side the whole time but you guys i'm such a side sleeper oh there goes babe but yeah y'all i'm such a side sleeper it it's crazy like sleeping on my back was like the most uncomfortable thing and then on top of that like having to sit all the time and then like laying on your back on top of it you know it was really causing so much discomfort in my lower back so that's when I like literally was like so frustrated with it and I'm like okay I need to sleep on my side so I like sent a message through the portal to my doctor and stuff like that and they told me that you actually can't sleep on your side so moral of that story is don't believe everything google be saying because they be cap but yeah so they told me i could sleep on my side by that time i was already sleeping on my side because i'm like look i can't do this anymore so yeah i've been sleeping on my side for the past two nights and i've honestly been getting you know even better sleep haven't been waking up super early well i still wake up early naturally but like i've been able to sleep in a little bit more and it's just felt so much more comfortable you guys so that's one thing that was definitely just causing me a little bit of frustration that we kind of got solved and stuff like that and yeah so now like i said we're just running some errands because i've been wanting to get outside and you know just do stuff gradually but you know not have to do too much at the same time so I've only had to just like walk to the car sit in the car and then walk back in the house so yeah I just wanted to give you guys that little update I think we're about to head to the grocery store so I'll update you guys again when we get there hey babe updating the vlog yo we just got gas 
we're about to head to the grocery store but yeah y'all we're about to head there and i'm gonna talk to y'all when we get there anyways yeah y'all we're at the grocery store now just getting some things you know we need for the house we always come well he always goes here and there but honestly for a second you guys i just have to express my gratitude for tyron i mean he's been such an amazing and supportive partner during this whole time i mean i literally couldn't have asked god for anything more in a man and i'm just so grateful to have him in my life y'all this has been one of the hardest times for myself and for him for the both of us to go through and he's just handling it with so much grace and you know really just being my rock and all this helping me with whatever i need making breakfast lunch and dinner literally every single day putting together like all the little stuff i'm ordering like the the chairs and the nightstands and all that stuff like and then on top of juggling everything that he has to do you know in terms of like working and stuff like that so I'm just so grateful for him and you know I know that there are women out there that you know go through the same thing but they go through it alone and honestly I'm so just grateful to just have a supportive partner here by my side and you know really just to have someone in my corner that you know can take care of me and is willing to you know just help me with whatever I need I mean it honestly just means the world so I thank God for him every single day and babe if you're watching this you're listening i love you so much and i just i'm so grateful for you like literally i don't even know how i'm gonna ever be able to repay you but i will literally make it my life's mission to repay you for just helping me through this time period and not only being there to you know do stuff for me and and handle things around the house but also just being my mental support system and you know helping me to you know get through this mentally because i'm not gonna lie you guys it's been a battle it's been challenging and I was telling him um, last night that I think that as my body heals and as I feel more able and capable to like do things like walk around you know you know and just don't feel in as much pain I think that it's really just setting into my mental just everything that we're kind of going through and just like the reality of it it kind of feels like okay you know when am I gonna wake up from this like you know when am I gonna like wake up and then this all just be like a dream like it's not real or something it's been a mental struggle i'm not even gonna lie to you guys and just say that it's been peaches and cream like it's now as i'm like i said as i'm healing it's getting even more mentally challenging because now i have more time to actually focus on the reality of things and you know everything like that is just kind of setting in so it's hard it's definitely hard but you know having him here and he always just speaks so much life into me and encourages me to just you know think positively or even do things like write in my journal write my feelings out and stuff like that when I'm feeling sad so just having somebody like that in my corner is just really irreplaceable and I'm just so grateful you guys and I'm so blessed and I feel like the luckiest girl in the world to have him by my side so yeah y'all it's been a journey and it will be a journey thank you so much to everybody that's continuing to follow our journey I definitely wanted to make sure that we made this video to show like you know one week post op and the realities of it and you know to show just kind of my progression my where I am with everything again thank you so much to everybody that shows so much love and support if you want to continue to join and ride this journey with us definitely subscribe and just continue to just be on this journey with us it will continue to be a journey but we're going to do everything in our power to just raise awareness and show the reality you know that's that's really just what it's about so i just want to keep you guys updated and posted and give you all a little seven day post-op update and yeah bob the builder back at it again guys while well, someone's over here they're just chilling <laughs> doing chilling. nothing i'm here putting together another chair hopefully this one doesn't take two days again we here y'all getting stuff done we got bob here building and stuff Bruh, again. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah y'all we're just doing that now and my mom said she was coming over later to bring some soup so yeah but this is what my braid out is giving you guys i haven't touched my hair in over a week and the curls is popping i'm gonna start doing these more because it's very low maintenance very 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 low maintenance and it comes out cute so yeah that's All what right. we're working with Anyways, y'all, that's what we're doing now. And yeah, let's see how long it takes him to put these together. <laughs> 
Y'all, he finished putting up the chair. Just one of them, though. You know? Yeah, one chair. But it actually didn't take that long. He was just, really, honestly, he was BSing like I half was. the time. I was. And I then was. when he finally took, when he finally put it together, it took like 20 minutes. Literally. It was, so, I thought it was more extensive, but it was like, two, it was like eight screws. Yeah. Like literally eight screws to put together. So it's not that, it wasn't that bad. Yeah, so. it didn't seem hard, but I'm sitting on it right now. As y'all can see, we'll show y'all when we actually put it outside. But yeah, we got still, I still got to put the table together though. So oh, the table! Yeah. Oh my gosh, I forgot about I the, the table. Other chair and the, table. the other chair and the little table. So it was like a set. So it's super cute. We'll show you guys when we get it set up outside. I was telling him like I'm like very tempted to just like buy some turf to put out there just for the time being because I want a rug out there, but I honestly don't feel like the pollen and the rug are really gonna mix right now. So I'm like, okay, maybe we'll put turf for now. And then when summertime comes, then we'll change it to a rug. I feel like that's a good plan. So. I mean, we can see. I mean. Yeah, I'ma see. But yeah, we just wanted to give you guys an update. I was just telling him like everything feels so much easy, easier to do. Like sitting down, standing up, like walking around. It just, y'all, this is day seven and I'm honestly feeling so much better, so. Definitely happy about that, but you took any medicine today. I barely took any medicine today. I have been literally lowering my dosage on medicine. When I took it earlier, I didn't even want to take my full dosage. He literally made me, so. Right. Yeah, so yeah, I haven't been taking a lot of medicine either, so that's been really cool. So yeah, y'all, we're progressing. We're progressing along. Getting better every day. Getting better every day. Hey guys, look who finished our outdoor set. Do you feel accomplished, babe? I do. I did. My back they hurts. actually look Took cute though. My back, is, my back is killing me. Yeah, he wants me to give him a massage, y'all. Right. How right. ironic. Yeah. You know, she got to use the little a massage gun. Little massage gun. So, look at this but these look so cute. You I really me? like this little table. Uh, and look, the uh, chairs are really comfortable no too. Facts. I'm like, gonna be outside. We're going to be buddy. chilling out there. Woo. Yeah, y'all. Now this is it right here, boy. I love oh, it. don't ask me to put together nothing else. Whatever. For the next <laughs> Two weeks. I've been building <laughs> literally something. I've been having to put something together every day this week. Since so, I got home, really. Yes, almost. Honestly, literally. So I'm done. I'm done. I'm done for a while. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. You know? Well, they came out good. We Gucci. So thanks, babe. Gucci now. All right, y'all. So with that being said, we're just going to go ahead and just end and wrap up today's video. We wanted to show you guys and just give y'all a little bit of insight on this post op and recovery, how it's been going. So hopefully, well, this was definitely super helpful. Definitely begin better every single day day as you guys can yeah. see so you know it's it's a it's gonna be a, it's still a long journey but it's like like i always tell you you're getting better every single day so if you're strong you've always been strong so it's like i already know like this is gonna be an easy recovery road or easy road for recovery for you so yeah. you know i'm just ready to get things back going and you know just get things get things back to normal but you guys can see how easy it was or how smooth the recovery process has been so we're gonna keep keeping you guys updated as much as we can you know just showing you you know little things that we're doing just so you guys can see the road to recovery as well yeah and honestly you guys seeing and making smoothies and stuff i feel like that's been helping a lot oh, yeah. because it just helps with cell rest restoration and just you know all that good stuff and just replenishing my body with everything that it needs so he's been juicing for me i don't think i showed y'all but y'all have seen us juice together before so he's been juice. juicing and just constantly giving me like juice and smoothies and just you know greens and vegetables and stuff like that fruit so I do feel like that plays a big part in the recovery process. So like you guys can see, it's fresh, fresh juice. You know, different fruits and vegetables have been pressed into that. And then alongside with combining that with like smoothies and stuff like that, like I really do feel like it makes a huge difference on your recovery process. So yeah, that's definitely been helping a lot. I will probably be drinking the rest of that. Well, both of us can drink it tonight. Tonight, honestly. Yeah, we need so, to get it gone, get it honestly. Gone. So, but yeah, so yeah, you guys. Oh, I thought my mom was gonna come tonight, but she ended not. up cooking pretty late, so she'll be here tomorrow and stuff like that. But yeah, hopefully, this was helpful, you guys. If you're not a part of the family yet, make sure you go ahead and smash that subscribe button, stay up to date with our you know recovery process we're gonna get back to regularly scheduled you know you know how it goes we're gonna get back to that real soon but in the meantime like i said if you're not part of the family go ahead and make sure you smash that subscribe button down below leave a like leave a comment show some love and we'll see you guys in our next video see love y'all